We are Yellow Jackets. We are full of passion and spirit. We bleed blue and yellow. We are explorers and achievers. We are friends, students, and leaders. Welcome to The Hive. Sunny Day Railbird from the Native American Achievement Center and we have Maddie here and I'm gonna let her introduce herself. Yes, so I'm Madison Chavez and I'm Crow, Northern Cheyenne, Ogallala, Lakota, Sioux, and Mexican and I am currently a junior here at MSU Billings. I'm also on the triathlon team. This is our second year so it's pretty awesome. Last year I was the first ever triathlete in the state of Montana. So that's pretty awesome as well. And also being Native American and kind of breaking barriers for all those trying to go to the next level after high school and make it in this world. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit, like what advice would you give for any students that's interested in attending MSUB? I would just give people advice who want to attend college just to ask lots of questions make sure you are trying to figure out your time management because you go from high school and they tell you to do everything pretty much and then you go to college and it's you know all this free time that you don't aren't used to pretty much so mm -hmm. I'd say just ask lots of questions get to know your professors pretty well and manage your time wisely. <laughs> Good, that's great advice. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, thank you all so much for joining us today for our Indigenous Student Preview Day. My name is Kristen Peterman and I'm the Director of New Student Services here at Montana State University Billings. Hi, I am Sunny Day Railbird and I am from the Crow Tribe and I am the Director of the Native American Achievement Center. We are so glad that you joined us today and we're excited to share with you a little bit more about MSU Billings, about the Native American Achievement Center, and to share with you some of our Native American students that are doing amazing things at MSU Billings. Uh, one of the things I wanted to point out to you is if you're watching us, we do have a chat feature. You can click that. We have staff on excited to answer your questions. So like Maddie said, ask lots of questions. That's what we're here for is to help you along the way. We uh, have had a chance to talk to a lot of different students. And so Sunny sat down recently with Nicholas Redgrave. And so we're gonna show you a little bit of that before we get started. Hey, I'm Sunny here and I have one of the students that I'd like to introduce. And this is Nick. My name is Nicholas Redgrave. Uh, I'm a sophomore here at MSUB. I'm in, I'm majoring in environmental studies right now. And it, could I ask what tribe you're from? I'm Northern Cheyenne and Isinibwin. Oh, okay. And can you tell me a little bit about um, being a stu native student athlete? So far, it's been it's been pretty good. Uh, I've been really enjoying the program and enjoying doing sports and it has been a little tough like with the COVID and everything but uh came through it and it's been it's been pretty fun. So what would you tell a student that's interested in attending MSUB? What ad what advice would you give them? I guess I would tell them that it's it's affordable and this is this is a really nice place and it's uh you can grow academically and you can if you're like an, if you're an athlete you can also grow uh, athletically i guess thank you it was <laughs> nice visiting with you it's good visit, visiting with you too excellent 
Excellent. I am so glad that Sonny got a chance to visit with Nicholas, and I'm so excited that he has found a place here and is excelling academically and as a student athlete. So we wanted to just share a little bit with you about MSU Billings. Um, so to get started, just wanted to let you know that MSU Billings was founded in 1927, so we're quickly approaching our centennial. We are located here in Billings, Montana, and we have five colleges across two campuses. So we have a College of Business, a College of um, Science and Allied Health, a College of uh, liberal studies and social sciences, college of education, and of course our city college that offers two-year associate and certificate degrees on the west end of Billings. Um, we have over 4,000 students studying numerous programs, over 100 programs here on campus. So our student to faculty ratio is an impressive 14 to 1. What that means is for every one faculty member there are only 14 students. So we have very small classes with the average size being 23. Our faculty are top-notch. 88% of them hold the highest degree in their field and zero classes are taught by grad assistants. So I think that's really important. You might find at other universities that um, especially as coming in as freshmen and sophomores, um, you're actually learning from grad assistants or maybe from faculties that aren't the highest degree in their field and so we are really proud of the achievements of our faculty and the opportunities that you get to learn from them. Uh, City College, like I mentioned, is on the west end of town and they offer over 30 academic programs, certificate and degree programs. They're market driven so they're really giving um, opportunities for you to get in and to get specialized and hands-on programs. They're responsive um, and what that's doing is providing you an opportunity to know the market and be able to get your degree and get out there and get right to work. They're short-term degrees um, so most of them you can finish in as little as 18 months up to 36 months. So, Sunny, again, had a chance to visit with one of our students, Tuff Snow, who is out at City College, and so we wanted to share that with you now. Hi, everyone. I'm Sunny, and we have Tuff here, and I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hi, Tuff. Hi, Sunny. Uh, my name is Tuff Snow. Uh, I'm from Fort Belknap Indian Reservation. I'm a child member of uh, Grove Lawn and Assiniboine. Um, I go to City College for uh, diesel technology. Uh, I choose this career because I don't know, it's more hands-on, I'm more of a hands-on person. Plus I like working on things. Uh, I choose City College because it's not as big, it's kind of more private. Plus it's uh, pretty affordable for students who kind of struggle with that part. Plus, there's a lot of native kids here, so that makes it more comfortable to go to. Oh, good. What advice would you give to any student that's considering um, MSU Billings? Uh, just get your FAFSA and stuff done before all that, before uh, classes begin. Otherwise, it's pretty hectic, and people, a lot of people, like quit because they don't have their FAFSA and financial aid set up. So that would be my main advice, just to get your financial aid done and apply for a lot of scholarships too, because that does help. And can you tell us uh, what is your favorite class? Uh, my favorite class would probably be Intro to Hydraulics, because we get to be in here and work on stuff like this. Um, oh, okay. It's only my first year, but so it's not really as much uh, hands-on yet. But next semester, I'll get to work on engines and more uh, suspensions and diesel fuel systems and stuff like that so I'm looking forward to that. Oh good, well thank you. Yep, thank you. <laughs> awesome, I, I love hearing from Tuff and hearing about that hands-on learning he gets that we'll talk a little bit more about soon and we also will talk a little bit more about FAFSA coming up that he mentioned so um, we'll get to that soon. I wanted to first talk a little bit about Billings where MSU Billings and City College are located. Um, for those that aren't familiar it is the largest city in Montana. It also hosts the largest school district which is amazing for those of you looking to study education and the opportunities that you'll have to do your junior fields and your practicums and your student teaching. Um, being the largest city in Montana gives us the opportunity to offer major 
internships and opportunities for you to connect hands-on right in the field that you're looking to study. We're right next to the two largest, largest hospital systems in the region, so if you're going into the medical field, you'll have opportunities to get into that. Um, and then also three major refineries, so a little bit of everything. The business hub, if you're looking to study it, Billings has an opportunity for you to not only excel academically here on campus, but to really get networked and have some amazing internships while you're still in school. Um, we also have two residence halls here on campus. We offer more than 50 student clubs and organizations, which you can be participating in and doing a lot of co-curricular learning while you're studying here. And we have 16 NCAA Division II sports teams. So a little bit of everything if you are a student athlete and would like to pursue athletics um, on the secondary higher education level. We would love for you to come and visit with us and we'd love to connect you with our coaches. If you're thinking that you love athletics but maybe aren't ready to play at that level and want to do something a little more recreational, we also have an amazing intramural sports and recreational activities program. Walter Runs Above um, recently got to visit with one of our MSU Billings Lady Yellow Jacket basketball players, Marie Five, and so we wanted to share that clip with you. Hello, Walter Redsbove here, the program coordinator for the Native American Achievement Center. Just stopping on by with Marie Five, catching up on things. How is it going? It's going great. How's your first year of college? First semester of college, I should say. I thought it was a blast. Cool. So fun. Cool. Excited for basketball season? Yeah, but cool. it's kind of sad that our season got canceled. Cool, huh? We still got to work hard though, right? Yeah. Cool. Definitely. Yeah. What tribe do you come from? I'm from the Crow Tribe. The Crow Tribe? Yes. Cool. So what is uh what position do you play? Center. Center center ball? Yes. Cool. Do you get rough inside the paint? Yes. People better watch out for you? Yeah. Cool. What can one expect to see from a student native student athlete here at MSUB? Mm, like to work hard and the determination. Nice. Cool. Any last quotes you want to bless us with? Work hard. So please reach out to me on my email, ask um, any questions. We're here. Our vision at the Native American Achievement Center is dedicated to provide the best support by empowering our Native American students, whether it's individual, social, cultural, or academic development. And then our mission is to help recruit and retain at MSU Billings. And we also offer academic, financial, personal, and cultural guidance, along with mentor support, connections to campus and off-campus resources. Uh, we host virtual cultural events. Um, we have, uh, we usually do like a coffee gathering every Thursday in the morning and we always invite faculty, um, different people from different departments. Um, we also have an All Nations Club. Uh, we do free faxing. Um, we have free printing available both at the City College and here on campus. And we also help with scholarships. So recently, uh, we got to hear from two students that participate in the Native American Achievement Center. So Maddie and Journey visited with each other. And so let's take a look at that conversation now. Hello, I am Madison Chavez from the Native American Achievement Sem Center and also uh, MSUB Triathlete. And I'm also here with Journey, who will introduce herself, but she's also, she's my teammate and I'm super excited to have her. So Journey, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, um, I am Journey Erickson. I am also on the triathlon team, triathlon team with Maddie. And um, this is my first semester here at MSUB. What advice would you give students who are coming into college? Be ready to study because studying is important. <laughs> she's always studying too, so she knows what it takes. Because she's gonna be a nursing student. Journey, tell us about why you want to become a nursing student. Um, my mom is a nurse, and I really like seeing what she does, and I want to help people. So I thought it'd be a good program to go into. Awesome. Awesome. Well, it was great to hear from both of them. And Sunny, I'm sure you enjoy working with both of them. Um, 
Tell me a little bit about, do they work at the Native American Achievement Center? Do they hang out there? What, what is their role there? Uh, no, they don't work um, at the Native American Achievement Center. They stop by, um, usually they're using the computer lab or printing or just there to visit, visit and hang out. Um, but it's always, they just stop by. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I think it's just so great to have that built-in support system. So for new students coming, they'll be able to go and connect with those students that kind of have that experience and to be guided by them, which is such an amazing service that you guys offer. Yeah. So uh, I think, tell us a little bit about where students could find the Native American Achievement Center. Well, the on campus, it's 2630 Normal Avenue. And then we also have an office at the City College, which is on the second floor. Um, in the tech building and that is B008 and it's kind of right above um, like the admissions and then we are open from 8 to 5. You could always schedule a meeting with us or even um, we could do Zoom, WebEx, um, whatever um, communication you want. Um, I've been taking drop-ins. I've had a lot of students that were interested in applying and they just wanted to take a tour. So we're open to that. Just reach out to one of us and we'll um, schedule a time to visit with you. Very cool. So uh, while we're working towards wrapping up, I just wanted to share some really important information. So. Um, one of the things that is really important when thinking about higher education is its affordability. So something that we always love to share is that MSU Billingston City College is affordable. We offer you a high quality education at an affordable price. Um, we also always like to reference if you have a moment, check out our website or if you're on the Conduit platform, you can check out our Montana cost comparative that will show you where MSU Billingston City College rank in cost compared to other universities in the state. Um, in addition to offering that lower uh, cost for tuition and fees, um, we're very excited to always share a Department of Labor and Industry study that shows that graduates of Montana State University and City College actually make more money. So a 2017 study by the Department of Labor and Industry showed that City College graduates earned on average 5,800 more than the median income across two other two-year colleges in the state of Montana. And for university graduates, that was $4,400 more. So you can't really beat uh, paying less money and earning more. So we're really excited about that and hope you'll take advantage of it. Um, to help with that affordability, we do offer financial aid and scholarships. Um, we encourage you to complete your free application for federal student aid as soon as you have the opportunity to. That's also, you've probably heard it been called the FAFSA. Um, our code for that is here on the screen. It's 002530. We know that the FAFSA can sometimes seem overwhelming, and so we do want to let you know that we're here to help. So if you need some uh, guidance on that, feel free to reach out to New Student Services or someone at the Native American Achievement Center. We would love to help walk you through that. I also think that it's important to let people know that we know 2020 has been a wild year. And so you're going to be doing your FAFSA with tax information from 2019 and your income may have drastically changed in 2020 given um, the circumstances of the world. And if that's the case, that's okay. Uh, what we need you to do is just still complete that FAFSA and then we can always help you with making some changes if you had a substantial change in your income. Uh, we also share if you are not from Montana that we do guarantee WUI. So if you're from one of those WUI states, Western Undergraduate Exchange, so those states here in the western part of the United States, we guarantee WUI just based on your address. There's not a separate scholarship application that you have to complete. Uh, we also offer some scholarships based right on your admissions application. So depending on your GPA and where you live, you may qualify for our Yellow Jacket Excellence Scholarships. And if you live outside of Bowie or outside of Montana, you may uh, qualify for Explore Montana Scholarships. So a lot of opportunities there. In addition to that, we have the MSU Billings General Scholarship application. It's one scholarship application portal that you can fill out one time, and it uh, submits your application to all of our scholarship offerings. Uh, we usually award over $1.8 million in scholarships, so definitely take advantage of doing that. You do need to apply for admission prior to applying for the scholarship, so make sure you take care of that. Um, and the priority deadline for that scholarship application is February 1st. So next 
steps. We've given you a lot of information today and we appreciate you taking the time to listen and take it all in. We would love for you to come visit us. Come visit us uh, on campus. We would be happy to meet with you, to walk you through the steps, to give you a tour. You can start with New Student Services or the Native American Achievement Center, but please do come visit us. You can visit us both virtually. We'd be happy to set that up. Or if you can come to Billings, we'd love to see you in person if you're comfortable with that. We are offering a scholarship drawing, so anybody that visits us the remainder of 2020 will be um, entered into a drawing for a $500 scholarship for fall semester of 21, so that's exciting. Um, you also, next steps, apply. Um, if you do live in Montana, there's no application fee, um, so please take the opportunity to apply, and just like everything, we're here to help. So if you have questions about that application, um, don't hesitate to let us know. Uh, I will mention as you're working through the application that uh, there is no ACT or SAT requirements for admission um, this year, and so you don't need to worry about that. Um, you can upload your transcript for us if you have those, but you also can just choose to uh, submit that later. So uh, don't let any of those things hold you back from getting that application submitted. So uh, let's go back to Sunny and let her share a little bit more about connecting with the Native American Achievement Center and wrap us up for the day. Real quick before I go over the contact information, don't forget if you're enrolled in a federally recognized tribe, you have um, that eligibility for the American Indian Fee Waiver. And then they also have the Cobell Scholarship that will be opening up on December 15th. But if you have any questions, please reach out to one of us. Um, my email is sunnyday.realbert at MSU Billings, or you could reach out to Walter Runzabov, Joe McGeeshik, and then we also have a new hire, Eva Hoops, and she will be covering the Crow and Northern Cheyenne Reservation. Thank you. Excellent. Well, again, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope to see you all on campus soon. Go Yellow Jackets.